Good morning and welcome to the first A-Team training for 2015 and this is going to be a fun one because we have some great things to share with you today. First and foremost, congratulations, Century 21 New Millennium is yet again a tri triple platinum broker, platinum in each and every one of the service areas that we are engaged with Carnes in. It's phenomenal, guys. Being platinum in one anagram makes you special. Being platinum in three anagrams makes you one of only a couple of, pe couple of companies in the entire country that accomplish something like that. And to do it four years in a row puts you in the no one else has done it. And to be platinum six years in a row, you've had at least one platinum anagram six years in a row. Quite simply put, you are the best relocation company in the entire country. And anyone that wants to argue with me over that is going to lose that argument because you have consistently won these awards, you've consistently put yourself out there, and there's nobody that can put a resume forward like the one that you have. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you and congratulations. I know it comes with a lot of hard work, a lot of effort, a few tears here and there, probably a few angry words here and there. I'm sure my name's been muttered under a few, under a few people's breath and it's probably been deserved at some points. I just want to say that I hope that it's all worth it to you. It's certainly worth it to me, and I'm incredibly proud to represent you and what you accomplish in this network. So how do we tell people about it? Well, it's on our blog, and I think this is the best way to do it. Our blog has been shared out onto your branch Facebook page or onto the business development Facebook page. And this is a professional pre uh, press release that I think is the best way for you to share this information. Simply go on, click the share button, and put it out to your network. Uh, you can put a quick, you know, I'm, I'm proud to be part of the best relocation team, whatever you want to put out there. I post every award, whether it has to do with relocation or not. I'm, I, I believe that this is a great way to, to stay in front of all of my old uh, friends, people that I wouldn't necessarily send a real estate advertisement to, but I just want them to know that I'm not only in real estate, but that I'm one of the top achievers in real estate. And then if they ever have a question, they ought to call me. And I think that this is a great way to do that. And I really encourage and, and more than encourage, and I'm asking each and every one of you, get out there, put this on your Facebook page. It'll take you all of 10, 10 seconds. And uh, you never know who you're going to uh, who you're going to catch on the right moment and maybe uh, pick up a couple of referrals that way. So um, that's how we can share that information. Uh, we didn't achieve platinum without... Uh, putting some pretty heavy pressure on you, and I need to say thank you to uh, to all of you, but specifically a few people in a few offices. So on on the 23rd of September, we had kind of an uh oh moment and said we're short on the number of agent generated referrals that we have, and we not only need to put more into the system, we have to close them before the end of the year, and that was already on September 23rd. So we put a challenge out to you, and we said if you can get that done, we'll count it twice. And, uh, and we had that happen 12 times and it made the difference and we made our number in AGRs because of you. And so for these particular offices, Fredericksburg, Gainesville, Lexington Park and McLean, they each had, it, had two separate agents who settled in AGR and our Columbia, La Plata and Woodbridge office each submitted and settled one before the end of the year. Uh, we had many other agents who put uh, agent generated referrals in and you can't control always when they close, but we had fantastic activity, which should set us up to stay on a roll going into this year. So thank you to everyone, and in particular to those 12 agents who really stepped up to the plate. And thank you for your Carta sales leads. We came to you on that same date and said, we've got to qualify and put some Carta sales leads in. We need to get in touch with the executives or the human resources directors, directors of companies who make relocation decisions. And we got to get Cardis connected to them and talking to them. And our Fredericksburg branch did that twice, Centerville twice, Annapolis once, Columbia once, and Washington, D.C. once. For each of those branches, because you qualified a sales lead, everybody on your team made their business building goal for the year. So great job to those branches. We had several other branches who have submitted one uh, who, are, were, uh, who were working with and trying to chew through those leads. If you've submitted one and we still need to follow up, it's sometimes hard to connect because you've got executives trying to talk to each other. 
and you know limited calendars if we have not connected one and you feel, feel it's viable send a uh, a quick uh, email to relo at c21nm.com write cardis sales lead follow-up and carrie movie will reach back out to you i know that uh, in many cases she already has so we thought about how do we not have a meeting on september 23rd and not put all this pressure on you guys to say hey we we, we need your help and the way that we need to do that is to keep everything in front of us all year long and to make sure that uh, that you know we're focused on everything that we need to do at every single branch. And so we thought of, you know, how does all of this stuff mix together? You know, I, if I convert my referrals and I'm honoring the source, but I didn't do my AGRs and I got a bad survey, what the heck does that mean? Well, what we're trying to figure out, and we can show it at the office level and we'll be able to show it at the agent level is, What's the importance of this stuff? You know, it's not new to anybody that that conversion is important, but how important is it? Well, out of 20 points, we gave it six total points, three for the buying side and three for the selling side. And then on service, we gave service six points, three for the agent service and three for the overall service. On honoring the source, we gave two points to honoring the source for mortgage and two points for honoring the source for title. We gave two points for our friends and family referrals, and two points for our agent-generated referrals. That all adds up to 20, and if, if an office performed in each and every one of those areas, they'd hit 20 points out of the 20-point scale. But they could actually do better than that. For each and every card of sales lead that we get qualified, they get an additional point. And for each and every total home services lead that we're able to sign, they'd also get an additional point. Don't freak out if you don't know what that means. We haven't rolled anything out yet, but we will be. We're going to give you some opportunities to use our Total Home Services platform. We're buttoning that up to make it a real strong program for you, and we'll be delivering that to you this year. So each and every office has the opportunity not only to make the 20 points, but to actually exceed it. And I hope that we're going to have a little friendly competition through the year as your branch leader shows you how you're doing against your goals and how you're doing against the offices that are surrounding uh, surrounding you. And I hope that you look at the offices that are top performers and think, hey, you know what that means? That means that there's an opportunity out there. If, if they're doing it, it's got to be possible here too. And it doesn't always seem that way. So, so take the, the big numbers and the, the offices that are performing and use that as motivation. Speaking of which, let's take a look at some of our top performers for 2014. On conversion, buyer conversion, our top office was Lexington Park with 64% buyer conversion, followed by our Gainesville office at 56% buyer conversion. Those are outstanding numbers. And then on the selling conversion side, lo and behold, the same two offices are getting it done. Our number one office was our Lexington Park office at 48% followed by our Gainesville office at 46%. Congratulations to both of those offices on both of those achievements, really outstanding. On service, look at, the, look at these numbers. For agent service, our La Plata office, 100% of our clients said that, that our La Plata office was a nine or a 10 out of a, out of a scale of one to 10. And 100% also said that our Loudon office uh, was a nine or a 10. So you can't do any better than that. All I ask of those offices is get more returns in because people obviously like the service that you're providing. And on overall service, our Culpepper office was at 100%. And again, our Loudon office at 100%. So congratulations to each of those offices, really outstanding. All, all I ask is, like I said, keep pushing to get more and more returns in because people like the service that you're providing and we need to make sure that they've, uh, they've turned a score in for that. On, uh, for honoring the source, this is for all sources, meaning USAA goes to USAA, NFCU goes to NFCU. We have some uh, uh, occasional uh, loans that are uh, referrals that we get through Discover and that's Discover Home Loans. If it doesn't have a source, that would be First County. So for all sources, uh, our top performing office was Centerville, 58% used the honor source, followed by our Columbia and Waldorf offices where 56% of the time they used the honored source. For title, on the buyer controlled sides, 83% of the time our Loudon office used the preferred title company. 
and 74% in Alexandria, both outstanding numbers. Um, congratulations to each and every one of these offices. You were our top performers on Honor the Source. On business building, our Centerville office had 24 settled friends and family referrals, followed by our McLean office with 17 settled friends and family referrals, outstanding. On agent generator referrals, our Lexington Park had 27 settled agent generator referrals, followed by our Gainesville office with 17 settled agent generator referrals. Outstanding, these really make a difference in terms of the company being able to achieve and meet its goals for platinum. And these offices really performed at the top level. So thank you to, the, to each and every agent in those offices. So how are we going to do your goals this year and how are we going to make this competition friendly and, and uh, set everybody at the same, you know, with the same ability to win? Well, con for conversion, here's what we're doing. We're taking a baseline of exactly where you were, and we already did this, as of, uh, as of December 31st, we took your 12-month running conversion, and we challenged you to grow that by 5%. And we assigned points for how much growth you were able to, to achieve. And so each and every office is, is at their own starting point, challenged to grow their conversion by 5%. And if each of our offices can do that, then that's going to add up to what we need to do as a uh, as a company. And our relocation department believes heavily that we're responsible for at least one or two percent of that, that we can figure out how to get a few more declined, that we can get you in touch a little bit faster, that we can help you when you're having trouble getting in touch. And so this this is not just an office goal. This is our re this is for our relocation department. And everybody is responsible for helping everybody uh, achieve, and, and everybody wins when we're uh, when we're going through this 20-point scale. On service baseline, we need 90%, but our challenge is on agent service for, to achieve 95%. We obviously had two offices that achieved 100%, and we'd love to see that each of our offices could could up the amount of returns that we have, and make sure that we go that we get our uh, our really good people to survey us that we have a 95% score. And on overall service, our, our challenge to you is to hit 93% with an 88% minimum. So we've knocked that 2% behind our agent service because it tends to be just a little bit lower. Let's make sure that we're really uh, explaining that question and owning that result and narrowing the gap. And, and uh, I think that we can hit 93% as a company, 93% as offices, 93% as agents, and you know, that's not only going to equal good scores with Cardis, but when people are returning surveys saying that you did a great job, they're probably telling other people about it too. For honoring the source, our bare minimum is 50%, but the challenge is for all sources to have at least a 55% uh, mortgage capture rate for honoring the source. And on title, to have a 71% uh, capture rate for uh, our buyer controlled sides on title. A couple of quick notes on that. Uh, obviously, this, I wrote it as large as I can. I don't think it's any surprise to anyone that USAA is our largest client, that mortgage is extremely important to them, and that as, we, as they support us, we need to support them back. Our goal for USAA is 60% of the time honoring the source with USAA mortgage. Uh, so it's incredibly important with USAA that we achieve not only the 55%, but actually 60%. And in fact, when we fall below 55%, that's a sign for our branch that, hey, we need to, whatever the message is about that, that month, we better focus on that too, because that's, um, that's something that just has to happen. Uh, we all know the pressure that comes with it. So this is a fun meeting. I don't want to go in with, into what happens when we, when we fall too far below it. Let's just all focus on it and achieve it and know that that's going to be a, a source of uh, great pride for us this year. Also wanted to give you a quick heads up that NFCU has a joint venture in the area with Champion Title to create NFCU Title. We're not measuring the capture rate on that. We're measuring the capture rate on how we do with our own title services. What I want to let you know is a referral may come over and mention NFCU Title. You may have an NFCU buyer who is engaged with NFCU Title. Our title companies have a, a have a right to compete in that business. What we don't, what we want to make sure is that we understand there's a partnership there. If you have somebody who is absolutely fully engaged, has looked at both services, and wants to use NFCU title, then that will be considered an honored source as well. 
Um, but uh, you know, just wanted to let everybody know that that, that that's out there uh, and that uh, you, you may see it from time to time. Uh, business building goals, here's how we did it so every office would, it would be fair. Business building goals for the office are based on the number of active A-team agents that you have. So for the office, we'll do the agents uh, goals later on, but for the office, the uh, friends and family goal will be one settlement per active A-team agent. So that's the goal for the office, and then three quarters of a settlement for each A-team agent on agent-generated referrals. And when I added all that up and, and took a look at what our goals were, lo and behold, we were almost there to the goal, and the business development department is responsible for meeting uh, the rest of that. So those will be our goals. Um, we need everybody to hit 100% of their goal. Uh, to hit 150% of the goal would, e would, equal, uh, would equal two points. We had a lot of offices who did that this year, and hopefully uh, that will continue. So that's really what our goals are. Our branches will break you into our uh, into the 20 point scale and talk to you a little bit more about about what the 20 point scale is and where your where your office specifically ranks. I want to again say thank you to everybody. Wish everybody a fantastic 2015. Congratulations to all of our award winners. Congratulations to being triple platinum. Let's go get it.